Here's the video on how to replace the carburetor on a lawnmower. Obviously you can tell I've done this after the fact because this is the old carburetor. Um, initially this video was just about how to find and fix a small gas leak on a lawnmower, but it inevitably came to me replacing the whole carburetor. So just follow me throughout this video. I'll show you a bunch of different things that you can actually check and potentially fix or replace and that can get you to uh, fixing that gas leak. All you need for this is either a ratchet or a nut driver a couple sockets and a set of pliers just to remove the gas line. Other than that, this job is pretty straightforward. If you're just replacing the gasket, you'll just need either a gasket scraper and or Scotch-Brite pad. Other than that, this job is just that simple and let's get started. So here's how to find the exact model, type, and code for your lawnmower, especially if it's a Briggs & Stratton. We look on the front and we'll see here's the model, here's the type, and here's the code, and that should help you find the exact parts, carburetor, gaskets, whatever that you'll need to do this job. Welcome back to the channel. Here's a surprise video, even for myself. I didn't think I'd be having to do a repair this soon on this lawnmower again, but today, you probably can't see it as much, but I noticed there was a gas leak here on the front of the deck. So today we're gonna kind of diagnose and figure out where that leak is coming from, fix it with common hand tools, and I also noticed that I should mention coming from this corner of the air filter. So right under here in the front of the deck and from the corner of the air filter. So let's kind of do some diagnostic work together and figure out and repair this. All right, so let's take a step back and think about all the components where gas might be leaking from. And so one of the things is obviously you pour gas into the gas tank, this whole back piece, and it differs from mower to mower, but on this Briggs and Stratton, this whole back plastic piece is the gas tank. And if we go under here, there's this line here where gas leaves the gas tank, flows out up there. Let's see if I can hopefully get you to see that. And through here is where it goes into the carburetor. And so we've got a couple places here where we might have a leak. Right here where the gas line, where this fuel line reaches the tank. Looks like there was something there at one point, but honestly there's nothing. It's dry to the touch here, so I'm going to rule that one out. We could also check the other side of the line where it goes into the carburetor, and what I'm going to do to show you that is take off this uh, cover for the filter. And if you want to see how to replace a fuel filter, or excuse me, a filter on a gas tank on a lawnmower, uh, check out this video. I'll link it in the card above. All right, so the view's still a little poor for me. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is take off this cover, which will get us to the carburetor. And there is a gasket behind here. So if you can identify your leak beforehand, or if it's not, maybe it's in one of the places I've already mentioned, you can fix it from there, great. But if you're still not seeing it, then you're gonna need to take off this filter uh, backing that goes to the carburetor. And like I said, there is a gasket behind here. So just know that once you open this, you might, uh, kind of make that gasket unusable. So these are all 5 sixteenths, these three bolts. Next we're going to remove this bolt and this bolt here that holds kind of this whole housing in place and cover the lines and all that back here for the carburetor and whatnot. Okay, and then a tip just to leave these bolts in their respective holes just so you don't lose them or forget where they go. So put that to the side. And now let's move you over here, see if we can get a better view of kind of what's going on. So it's still looking pretty messy back here, so I'm gonna remove this the rest of this cover up here for the air filter, and we'll be there. Huh. 
So let me give you a close up here. So as you can see, there's that gasket I was talking about. And for the most part, it looks like it's in good condition. Sorry, let me get you better lighting. It does look like it's in good condition. I mean, it's ripped right here, but other than that, it looks like it's okay. So that could be the cause of our leak. And I wasn't rough with it when I was taking off this, uh, um, the back of that air filter housing. So I, I'm wondering if that's the issue, but also looking at this carburetor, I mean, you can tell it's definitely seen better days and who knows, and it honestly might even be the original one, looking how old and kind of gunked up it is. And then if we look at the back of the air filter housing, it looks okay there. I mean, I definitely want to clean all this up first. So I'm going to clean this whole backing off, um, off camera. And then maybe we might do a little bit more deep dive in here. All right, so if you think it's this gasket that is your issue, all you got to do is take it off. Clean this mating area here because if the gasket, if the new gasket doesn't go on in a, com in a completely clean um, surface, then you'll just have another leak. So it's a good idea to clean this off using like a plastic scraper um, or uh, uh, an abrasive sponge like a scotch Brite pad to clean that off. Don't use anything metal. That will only scrape it and gouge it and cause more leaks. But now that we have um, all of this stuff out of the way, we can kind of re-examine some of those uh, things that I told you to check out first. So we can also really kind of play around with this fuel line, make sure there's no cracks or anything like that, squeezing it. Also check out this tube. This is where some fuel goes, so making sure that there's no uh, cracks or issues here. And also around the carburetor right here, this is what the carburetor is, this whole thing right here. Around here, this bowl mates up to the rest of the carburetor. So there's actually a gasket just in between here where you can see kind of my finger. I know I'm actually wearing gloves now. So right in between here, there's a gasket. So if you see fuel coming out of here, you can also replace that gasket. And I would say that if you're only replacing this gasket right here, then you probably don't need to take out any of the fuel. You might have a little bit come out, but you should be fine. But if you're gonna take apart the carburetor, replace it, take off this bowl, replace the gasket in here, then I would recommend draining all the gasoline out, or otherwise you're gonna have a big mess. To know if you're ready to put the new gasket on and you've gotten all the gasket material off, the old stuff, just put your finger around and you shouldn't feel any bumps. It should feel pretty seamless all across. And for the most part, this feels pretty good. So I'll probably just take a little bit more off right here and then this will be ready to receive the gasket. New gasket for the carburetor right here, but it came with a new carburetor. So, frankly, if you want to just replace the gasket and that's your issue, all you got to do is put it on and do the reverse order of the steps I'm about to show you. But if not, I'm going to go a little bit deeper and instead replace the carburetor. So let's do that real quick. So I didn't um, remove any of the gas, so we're going to do that, I guess, now. So we're going to remove that hose clamp. And then we're just gonna pull this fuel line out and I'm gonna try and empty it into my uh, gas can. Once that fuel is out, now we can remove the carburetor. So what we're going to need to do, zoom in closer here, is there is two bolts 
And in fact, we can even just use the new one as an example so we can see what we gotta do. This one requires a bolt here and a bolt there. So if we can see right here, there is a bolt right there and a bolt right here that we need to take off. And then there's just that throttle cable up here that we'll get at the end. All right, so now this can wiggle down and all we gotta do now is get that throttle cable out. So all we gotta do is bend the carburetor. Well, let's see here where this is sticking out. Just finagle the carburetor and pull it out. And there you go. And there is still some gas in there, so just get ready, beware of that. There's still gas in that uh, bowl in the bottom. But now all we need to do is remove this O-ring off the back, which this too could be a point of failure. Sometimes these get old and brittle and crack. This one feels okay, but the new kit came with one. So now we can just clean off this mating surface and get ready to put the car new carburetor on. All right, so here's our new O-ring. Might as well use the new one. We'll put that on. Now, we can get the carburetor on. Bigger side with the two bolt holes obviously goes on in the back. And what we want to do first is thread that throttle cable through. So let's see if I can get a, try and not take away the line here. Push that through. And then twist it around. Hold that in place while I put the new put the bolts back in. Now we can put back on this fuel line here. There's, I didn't let it drain all the way, so there might be a little bit of gas. Yep, Ooh, there we go. Now we'll just put that clamp up so it holds on right there. All right, so fortunately, on the back of where um, the, this air filter, the backing on it, where we put this other gasket that you may just need to replace, there's three little nubs. Let's see if I can show it to you. Here, here, and here that coincide with three little holes, as you can see, on this gasket so that we can put this gasket on first in those little holes like that and now we don't have to worry about this gasket falling off or not being seated properly just make sure it's pushed in all the way now all we have to do is push it up against this and the last thing we want to do is make sure this tube here coincides with the tube right there so maybe I'll try and get that in first. There we go. And now we we'll just need to align this. Oops. So now we can put those bolts in. And 
since we are dealing with a gasket, I would recommend definitely um, tightening these two bolts down where the gasket is behind. So right here and here, e just um, equally. So there's so the gasket is compressed evenly on both sides. Oops, there goes my light. Put this cover on, make sure the holes in line. Let me give you another visual over here. So there's the one up here, and then there's one in the front that you need to bolt in. And let's put this clamp on here. That holds this cable. Okay. And last but not least, we can put on this air filter and cover. So let's get the bottom bracket in, put the filter in. Close this up. And close down this box for the filter. All right, let's test out our work. All right, so let's test if it works. Not seeing any gas on the deck. Prime it a couple times so we can get gas going in that carburetor. Pull the choke. Now I'll try not to give you too much uh, movement here. There you go. That's how you replace the carburetor and also check for potential places for why your uh, lawnmower might be leaking gas. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Check out my other videos. I'll put a card in the, the top right corner. And yeah, check, see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful and share. And I'll see you in the next one. So I thought I'd just show you since I have the old carburetor. Um, might as well just kind of show you what um, that gasket looks like in between the bowl and the bottom of the carburetor. So this is, it takes a half inch. A little washer on the bottom of this uh, bolt. And if we look, right there is this little washer. Sometimes this can also get cracked, frayed, or um, broken. So just check this too. And if you do replace just this, remember to clean off this whole surface here so that the new gasket or I guess the new o-ring kind of sits night seats and uh, makes this connection tight and um, but again like I said most kits come with um, a whole new carburetor so sometimes it's nice to just replace the whole thing again any comments or questions put them in the comment section below thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one